supporting a new program to help high-risk children and adults by getting them set up for college to help keep them out of the justice system. NBC Local 33's Ariel Salk has more on lowering incidents of violence through education or live. You know, I have a not so bright past, but I'm not going to let that determine my future. Marvin Payne is turning his life struggles into support for the community. I just wanted to give the kids in the community uh, a boost, some help, the help that I didn't have coming up. Payne is a community ambassador, helping high-risk youth and adults get an education through the Lowering Incidents of Violence Through Education or Live program. Get them a, a good trade, good education, so they can provide for themselves and their family. The Live program is designed to leverage education in high crime areas. We can do all the programming we want, but if it doesn't result in an education which gives people hope and opportunity for employment, then all it does is go back to uh, criminal life, right? Friday, participants learned how to move forward with the program. Next, they will meet twice a week for roughly eight months to get them all squared away. We do quite a few public events, but this one's very special to this area because it's it's a little bit of a different uh, different group we're working with. I like the impact that this has because it's changing lives in a major way. Councilman Darrell Hurst is determined to get anyone who wants to join there safely. We actually get them a uh, police escort from the community to BRCC. Payne says it's not too late to make a change in your life, and he is dedicated to support the community. You're a, a young kid, and you know, you're in the streets, and you want to change your life and go in a different direction by doing the right thing, get your education, man, just, you know, you can talk to me. Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News.